Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Cartoon Castle Building Kit. Now the first thing to note on this is the fact, yes it does say cartoon, but I'll show you a little something later which actually gives this um, asset a little bit of a different impression as to what you would think. So quality wise, I actually quite like this, and if you're making maybe like a low poly style game, maybe for mobile games or something like that, this is probably going to be quite nice. Now this is one of the scenes that comes with it and as you always know I love these little scenes that are already pre-built because it gives us a good impression of you know what can be done. And looking at it it's pretty it looks pretty basic pretty you know standard but in actual fact there is a lot more that you can do with this. And that is why I like the actual quality of it, because this could be interpreted to be simple, low poly, you know, nice and plain if you go for that style. However, if we go to the scenes, and there are quite a few different scenes, I have already slightly modified one of the scenes, and I'm going to do a little bit more modification in this video so I can show you what I mean. So let's go through a couple of these. Uh, we can see already pre-made scenes, so you can see what could be done. And the whole idea of this is being able to build your own uh, castle, I guess. <laughs> I suppose that's the whole idea of it. But you can see here, now this is looking kind of cool. So if you're going for a bit of an eerie, spooky kind of feel, these sort of scenes might be quite handy. But if we go into this scene right here, I've applied a little bit of post-processing to this particular scene. And if we explore some of the assets, I have created a normal map of this uh, texture right here. And I'm going to apply that to the material. And when I do, you'll see what I mean about its versatility. So let's drag and drop onto the normal map. And you can see just how, you know, gritty it can look now. So it doesn't necessarily look quite so cartoony. So there's a multitude of styles that you could create from this. And that's why I like this asset. Its ease of use is astronomical. It's so easy to use. I love the pre-made scenes and it is really, really easy to actually build your own castle or even any type of environment from this asset. So if we go to the prefabs, for example, and take a look in here, we can see there is loads of different bits that we can use to build castles. You can just take any of these, piece them together, and build what you need to. It really is as simple as that. It's a real, real simple asset to use, but when done correctly, you could make it look absolutely fantastic. It's just a case of dragging and dropping and moving the things around in your scene to build your own castle. But as I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a castle. You could build a dungeon with all of this. So price-wise, it is free, which you can never argue with a free asset of this quality because it's great that you could make something for free with this. Size, 33 megabytes. Meter connection, not really gonna worry too much about it. Unlimited connection, not a problem whatsoever. Uh, I like small assets, I think they're really handy. Yes, sometimes they do lack the quality, but overall, this kind of asset is something you should aim to um, manipulate, modify and change in any way you feel you want to because you can create more than just what the as uh, the asset offers as we can see so i'm going to save that and head back to one of the other scenes and because i've applied the normal map you can already see how much of an impact that has on even this asset it's gritty it looks cool i like it again post processing i love it it makes things look so much better so yes it is highly customizable uh, in the way of extras to be honest, you don't really need extras in this. It packs everything that it says you will need to build a castle or maybe a dungeon. Uh, so there's not too much in the way of extras. A couple of textures which, you know, might prove handy. Some grass, sand, whatever. But other than that, there's not too much more to it. Um, it is incredibly useful. I would say if you're making pretty much anything that involves a castle or a dungeon or maybe anything on mobile, then yeah, it is very useful for that. So, guys, as you know, I don't generally rate assets on a scale. I like to either recommend them or not. And I would absolutely recommend this asset. I think it's a great asset and it will complement any game you're developing that would involve castles or dungeons. And 
even if it's PC or mobile, like I say, I think this is really good. So I would recommend this if you're building this style of game. It's easy to build your own uh, environments, easy to build your own castle. So it is at least, at the very least, worth a look. So give it a thumbs up. If you like this asset, give it a thumbs down if you don't. But let me know why you don't like it in the comments. If you've used it, maybe. Let me know how you've used it. Let me know what you've done with it, what you think about it. I'd love to know. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with everything about game development on my channel. And if you've got anything on the Asset Store as a developer yourself, please get in touch because I would love to review it. Guys, thank you very much for watching.